So both of those are related to our places of power and of creativity. So the navel center is connected to our second chakra, which is about our creative expression, what we put out into the world. So all creativity originates from this place in the element of water in the body. And then it gets expressed through the solar plexus, through the third chakra, which is related to our willpower, our sun energy in the body. So as we move through the sets, you can see, you have, how do you sense these places in the body, these energy centers of the navel, of the abdominals, and then contains right at the top of this area that we're working on, the solar plexus. Keep moving, create some bigger circles if you can. Warming up the shoulders as well. And our navel and our abdominals relate to our ability to be steady to be constant. So once we have a dream, once we have this creative vision, in order to manifest it, we have to steadily walk towards it in order to take actions. And this is what this Kriya helps us to do, is to stay steady, to find the courage, to find the perseverance, to be able to manifest the highest expression of who we are whatever that looks like. It can take a multitude of forms, each one of us being completely unique. Our dreams and our creative expression will be as unique as you are. Let's reverse the direction. See if you can make these circles even wider. Imagine this beautiful spiraling movement. Warming up the spine. And your eyes can be closed. So throughout most of the postures in Kundalini Yoga, the eyes can be closed. And you can focus them at your brow point, between your eyebrows, up and within, focusing on within. In our brain, the place that we're focusing them towards is the pituitary gland. And that is the seat of our intuition from a chakra perspective, but in the brain is the seat of this master gland, the pituitary gland, which regulates the secretions of our glandular system. A few more of these big circles. And last one, and come center, inhale. Hold the breath in, apply Mulaban, root lock. So you're drawing in on the pelvic floor muscles and you're drawing your navel in. So right below the belly button, drawing it in. Holding this, when you need to exhale, exhale. Let's bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then back, just a few shoulder rolls. Up and back. Breathing long and deep through the nose. You can keep your eyes closed. Then reverse the direction. Shoulder rolls, feeling a little bit of warmth in your shoulders, releasing any heaviness, stress, weight from the shoulders. And release your shoulders down. Bring your hands onto your shoulders. The elbows stay parallel. The thumbs are in the back, four fingers in the front. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, twist to the right. Breathing in and out through the nose, eyes closed. Keep going.
with that same rhythm, inhaling, exhaling, breathing. center, inhale, hold the breath, exhale, bring your legs out, comfortable distance apart, flex the feet, inhale center, exhale belly towards the thigh, inhale center, exhale belly towards the thigh. And uh, Emily, if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up if the sound and voice are okay. Okay, thank you. Keep going, everyone. Keep moving with the breath. Is that a little better? Okay. Opening the backs of the legs. We're going to work with different leg lifts. So this is our opportunity to stretch. Come center, inhale. Exhale, soften towards the floor. Hands down. Allow the spine to round, release the head down. And slowly come back up, bring your legs together, shake them out, shake out the hands, shoulders. And lying down on your back, going to begin this set with alternate leg lifts. So one leg comes up, the leg is as straight as possible. As you inhale, exhale, lower it down. So the hands can be palms facing down under your hips, or they can be by your sides. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. With your eyes closed, upper body rests on the floor, keep moving.
Keep going, just a few more seconds. Stay steady, building resilience, building resistance, nervous system. And relax, relax the legs, arms facing up. Take a few deep breaths. This next posture is a cross crawl. So you're bringing opposite arm all the way up to the floor, palm facing up and the opposite knee. This is the inhale, exhale, lower both them down at the same time. Inhale, other side, opposite arm and leg. Exhale, lower them down at the same time. And inhaling, exhaling. Finding a rhythm. So it's really helpful in all of these kriyas and postures and movements is finding that sense of rhythm. Finding a rhythm that you can sustain, a rhythm that feels soothing to your system, to your nervous system, to your body. So continuing, doing your best to stay steady, continuing that movement. And concentrate the breath at the navel. Imagine that you're breathing in and out from the navel center. So about two fingers below your belly button. And relax the legs down. Bring your knees into your chest and rock up and down on the spine a few times. to come into downward facing dog which we will hold for three minutes so doing your best if you need to come into child's pose for a few breaths come back to the downward dog which is completely fine um, try to hold it if you if you want to challenge yourself i recommend it. it's always good to, to do um to do that so if you're able to um so be with long deep breathing so come in to set yourself up 
into downward facing dog. Try to have equal weights on your hands and your feet. For the first few breaths, you can bend one knee in and the other, reaching opposite heel towards the floor. And then when you feel ready, reaching both heels down towards the floor and allowing your body to create this triangle shape. And it can be helpful to feel that you're drawing in from the hands, from the earth, what you want to receive. And then you inhale at the same time, so receiving from the earth. And then exhaling, allowing whatever you want to release to flow through your feet. So up from the hips, down the legs, down the feet, into the earth. Using the inhale and exhale to guide this, this visualization. Holding here. Long deep breathing. to the mat, come into child's pose. Rest your forehead to the ground. Soften the spine. Inhale, lift the head, lift the upper body up. We're going to come into cobra pose or six. So coming onto your belly, bringing your legs together, feet together, toes are pointed. So either into a sphinx where your elbows are under your shoulders and you're holding here, shoulders down towards the floor, lifting the chin up, closing your eyes. Stretching the upper body, making it longer, very gently. If you want more of a challenge, you can come into a cobra. But make sure this is not straining the lower back to find a place that you can stay in for a little bit. Close your eyes and breathe. Focus your awareness of the breath.
And as you're breathing and holding this posture, connect with the navel. Notice how the navel presses into the floor as you breathe in. And it comes in towards the spine as you breathe out. And sense or feel or imagine the elements of the water. And the pelvic bowl. What is the quality of the water right now? Is it stormy? Is it peaceful? Is it like a lake or a stream? How is your creativity? Today is the new moon in Gemini. Just stepping into this energy of the moon, this new moon where we want to plant seeds. It's a good time for listening deeply within. What do we want to bring forth? What do we want to create? So take a deep breath in and exhale and softly release down. Turn your head to one side and bring your hands by your side, palms facing up. And as you rest here for a few breaths, Feeling the weight of the body, feeling the heart center, feeling the navel, the solar plexus, legs, allowing the floor and the earth and just to hold you, to hold and support your weight. And inhale, exhale, and turn over so that you are now on your back with your knees bent. We're going to come into a little um, yogic crunches. So the hands are behind your head, but try not to, as you know, with the abdominals, you know, these crunches, don't try to push the head up. Try to really have the abdominal muscles be what are bringing the upper body towards the thighs. So we're going to exhale and come up in six little crunches. And then inhaling six little crunches back. And try not to have the head come all the way down to the floor. So we're gonna to try to have the head up the whole time. Six exhales and little crunches and six inhales as you bring the head towards the floor. So keep going. Close your eyes. Focus them at the brow point. season 
sun's changing I can smell it in the air I can see it in their paintings And I can hear it in the wind Hear the cries and descend Through the many colored trees Forms a many colored breeze Made of many colored leaves Departing ever so gracefully they fall, 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 descending in a sweet melody. And what it is that is not ending is a sweet mystery. Inhale, up, exhale, and release down. And you can bring your knees into your chest if that feels good, just rock side to side. And then stretch the legs out onto the floor. Take a few deep breaths. So preparing for stretch pose, which is a Pretty challenging posture. I'll give you different modifications for stretch pose. If you're on your cycle, first three days, you would do a long deep breath and you would alternate the legs. Just do one leg at a time. Otherwise, hear what the options look like. So first of all, if you've never done breath of fire, I'll just quickly explain. Breath of fire is an equal inhale and exhale through the nose. So it sounds like this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And you should feel that you're getting enough breath. If you feel dizzy or like this is too much, just go back to long, deep breathing. So option one, your hands are by your sides. You're lifting your legs and your feet six inches off the floor. My eyes are open. I'm gazing at my toes and breath of fire. So don't do it yet. So when I start the timer, I'm just showing you the options. Option two, hands under the hips for support. This helps a little bit. And same thing with the legs. They're always six inches off the floor. You're gazing at your toes and breath of fire. Option three, one leg at a time. So you're still doing breath of fire, but once in a while, you alternate the legs. And note, if you're feeling strain in your neck, you can support your head. Okay? So <laughs> let's go. Everybody do whatever version you can do. I'll put some music back on and we'll go for it. Everybody inhale, hold, hold the posture, hold the breath, allow the body to shake if it's going to shake. 
Exhale, relax, palms face out, up to the ceiling, feet relaxed out. Close your eyes. And imagine circulating, distributing this beautiful sunlight from the navel throughout the whole body. Imagine that you can send vitality and health and healing to every cell of your body. Allow it to circulate, direct it through the legs, through the toes, through the digestive system, to the heart and the lungs, to all the blood vessels and the nervous system, circulated everywhere through your brain. Refreshing and refreshing the entire beautiful physical body. And take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, so our next movement is pistoning the legs. So same thing with the arms where you can have your arms by your side or you can support yourself by placing the hands, palms facing down under the hips. The movement is as follows. You'll have one knee bent in towards the chest, the other leg is out, parallel to the floor, and then you switch. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. So find a, a rhythm that you can sustain and move with your breath. Good, begin everyone. The upper body is relaxed on the floor. Keep moving the legs. We're not here too long, just two minutes here in this posture. Try to stay steady throughout. Inhale, hold the knees in towards the chest, draw them in and gently rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Or you could also make little circles if that feels nice. Either side to side or circles, you could switch the direction. And then Bring the knees in, just holding still. Resting your awareness of the brow points. Strengthening your connection with that meditative, neutral mind. 
the deepest sense of self, of your soul. Inhale. Exhale, stretch your legs out and come onto your belly, preparing for bow pose. Bringing your chin to the mat and bending the feet and holding at the level of the ankles. And so this could be enough. Maybe you just stay here and this feels like a good stretch for you. So you would just stay even with the chin on the mat or you could lift up a little bit or you could lift up a little bit higher. Really listening, honoring your body always. What feels right? What can I hold? Because we're holding these postures longer than you might be used to. Especially if this is your first Kundalini class, you might not never have held a go pose this long. So do what feels right. And long, slow, deep breathing. Close your eyes, focus your awareness at the go feet. Inhale deeply, hold the breath in, lift up a little bit higher if you can. And when you need to exhale, exhale and then you rest. Relax down, turn your head to maybe to the other side that you did before. Place your palms up. Big toes can come towards each other and the heels fall away from each other. Noticing again the weight of the body, the support of the earth. You might feel the rhythm of the heartbeat. Staying with that rhythm, that it's your, one of your body's rhythms. You have the rhythm of the breath, the heart. The navel also has a pulse that you can feel. Bodies tune into so many rhythms that we might not be consciously aware of. The moon to different planets to nature seasons. And then to our own rhythm throughout the day, our own cycles of energy. Inhale deeply. Exhale. 
Bring your hands under your shoulders and press yourself back into child's pose and keeping your hands up above the head. The palms are facing down. If it feels more comfortable to separate the knees wider, you can do that and release your forehead towards the mat. As you stay here and breathe, notice the spine. Notice the, the weight, the sensation of the spine. See if you can soften the shoulders, the hips. Allow yourself to sink in a little bit deeper. A few more breaths. And sensing also the alignment of these three places of knowledge of intelligence in the body. The gut, brain, the heart, brain, and the head brain. And in this posture, they're more or less at the same level. Just checking in to each of these centers of your intelligence. And slowly take a deep breath in and exhale and gently come up sitting on your heels preparing for a camel pose. So we're just going to stay in the camel for a few breaths and then we'll come into another child's pose and then we'll relax. Shavasana. So for this camel I recommend curling the toes under to make it more gentle for the lower back unless you are very comfortable with, with camel pose. And you could just stay here. So you could put your hands on your hips, bring your hips over the knees and just gently arch back. And you don't even have to bring the head back. If you want to go further, you could bring your hands onto your heels and then allow the head to soften back. Whichever you're comfortable with. And take a few deep breaths. And inhale and slowly come out. And we're going to come back into child's pose, but this time the arms are by the feet, hands are by the feet and the palms are facing up. Allow your shoulders to separate from each other a little bit. So you're softening your arms towards the floor on either side.
Inhale, exhale. Slowly come up and stay in this relaxed state to come into Shavasana. Set yourself up comfortably. Cover yourself with a blanket if you'd like. You can roll something or put a pillow under your knees. Make yourself comfortable. Palms facing up, feet relaxing out to the sides. And just allowing your whole body to rest, to let go of tension, to let go of any efforts, both in the physical body and in the breath. Just let the breath move in and out. And notice, sense, and feel all the contact places between your body and the floor. All those meeting points between body and floor. And just with your awareness, with your intention, see if you can relax the body deeper into these meeting points. Soften, release more weight. And allowing yourself to integrate. Allowing the wisdom of the body. The body knows exactly what to do to help you get stronger, to help you express and utilize this, this beautiful creativity. And if we can allow the body the space, then magic can happen. So just allowing yourself this time and place of not doing, just receiving, being receptive, being still.
Take a deep breath in. And softly breathe out. And gently begin to move your fingers and your toes. Rotate your ankles and your wrists. Stretch your arms up above your head. Take a deep breath in, hold the breath in and squeeze every muscle tight. And release. Bring your right knee into your chest, allow it to fall towards the left and turn your head to the right. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Come center, switch sides. Left knee in. Allow it to fall to the right. Turn your head to the left. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Come center and rub your palms together. Rub the soles of the feet together. And hold on to your shins and rock up and down in this body. Good, and come up to sit for meditation, finding a comfortable seat. So this meditation is for clearing out fear. So clearing out any current fear, but also old fear, historical fear, fears that you had when you were a child and that you haven't properly released or processed. It's kind of like uh, clearing your email box, right, when you have so many extra emails. This meditation is for clarifying, for making space in our psyche, in our subconscious mind, so that we can feel much lighter and we can upgrade you know, how, how much we can handle in our nervous system and in our mind. So it's also really pleasant to do because you, you can call in anything that frustrates you, anything that is unsettling, anything that you are um, you know, it doesn't have to be just fear, just something that you would like to let go of. You're going to think of it, allow it to arise with the in-breath, and then with the out-breath, which will be through the mouth, you're going to let it out. So your hands, the palms are cupped as if you were just receiving. The right palm is on top. And then you're resting the hands about heart center level. And orient them so that when you're exhaling through your mouth, you feel the coolness, you feel the breath, you feel that exhale on the palm of the right hand that's facing towards you. So you'll be inhaling through your nose and you're looking down towards the hands. The eyes are one-tenth open, so just a little bit open, gazing down towards the palms, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the O-shaped mouth. Feeling the breath, the coolness of the breath. So allowing something to arise that you want to let go of on the in-breath and then releasing it on the out-breath. Long, steady breaths. So any desire, any thoughts that is negative or that is persistently distracting you, Allow it to rise as you breathe in. And breathe that thought and that feeling out. Exhale it out with the breath.
three more. Inhale to three when you're done with those three. Exhale completely and hold the breath out and draw the navel in towards the spine and concentrate on each vertebra of the spine all the way up. Inhale. Exhale completely, fold the breath out, concentrate again, each vertebra of the spine until you can feel your spine all the way from the base, to the top, when you need to breathe in, continue, do it two more times. When you're done with the last round, inhale and relax your hands to your knees. Relax the breath. And sitting here for a moment, just noticing the mind, noticing the body. So let's bring our palms together. We're going to close with a long time sun. We close every class. So your hands are in prayer at the center of the chest. And I invite you to sing out loud at home and imagine that you can hear everyone. All of us today here, we can hear each other's voices and we can feel each other's presence in this space. We're all connected, even if we're not in the same room, by practicing together and dedicating this closing prayer to someone in your life. So you can imagine this person surrounded with your blessings, with your prayers, for their well being, for their healing.
Inhale deeply, hold the breath in. And surround yourself with these same prayers, with this blessing, with a beautiful night of golden and light. And exhale. Thank you all for joining me on Thursday nights. And